morning everybody. This is my entry to 8 pubs, 1000 subs plus contest. time I would like to go back to is the Christmas lecture of 1835 at the Royal Institute where Faraday demonstrated the first practical electrical generator. Now it's important really to kind of clarify what Faraday actually did. He didn't kind of discover electricity or anything like that. Um, electricity was a phenomena that had been known about in scientific circles for hundreds of years. You know, what Faraday actually did he took all the research into various things like magnets, um, conducting wires, energy fields, and he combined them. Now, what he actually demonstrated at the, uh, at the Christmas lecture was that if you pass a magnet through a coil of wire, you'll get a flow of electrons or electrical current, current in, the, in the wire. Conversely, if you rotate a wire around a magnetic core, you'll also get a flow of electrons in the wire. Now, the bigger the magnet, and the more coils you've got round the magnet, he demonstrated, the more flow of electrons you've got. Now that was the significance of it really. It demonstrated that it was controllable. And, um, and this was recognised in scientific circles at the time. From, from the point of view of how significant it was, um, it was kind of like the, the developments that have been made in microconductors in this country, Western Europe and America in the early 80s. That, that was the significance of it. Because what he did there is what we do today. You know, that, that's how electricity is generated, really. What, what we're doing at a power station is we're, we're still using his theories. We, we, spin, we spin a coil of copper around an electromagnetic core. That, that's how it works. Um, why I would like to go back to that period of time? I'd like to explain to him the, the impact of, of what he actually discovered. Um, now, what, in researching this, I've, I've started to kind of really brought home to me the, the significance of this. Now the thing is, if he hadn't have discovered it, someone else probably would have done. But it might have been 30 years down the road, um, because a lot of scientific research, a lot of it's, you know, people diving down blind alleys, a lot of it achieves nothing, and things get put on the back burner. So if he hadn't have discovered it then, it might be discovered 30 years later, but technically now we'd be in the 70s. You know, we wouldn't be as far forward as what we, what we are. It's not always quite straightforward in that in, in history, but you know it's it's definitely an issue. So you know we wouldn't have the internet, we wouldn't have a pipe smoking community, we'd have fairly insignificant really in the, in the general scheme of things. But you pick any field, um, whether it's science, the arts, your enjoyment of those things is enhanced by electricity. And most importantly, I don't think we'll be as far forward as what we are in things like cancer research and cancer treatment without electricity. Because the CAT scans that they use to diagnose cancer these days and pick it up in the early stages is, is, is a development of x-rays, admittedly. But to create those x-rays, you do need high voltages of electricity. So, though electricity isn't the most, well, isn't the only technology, it's largely it's a massive contributor to many other technologies. That's why I would have liked to have gone back to, to Faraday's lecture of 1835. 